our father, that's like my daddy, your daddy, my father, your father. It's good to get that down, that he's not just my father, he's your father too. Who is in heaven, holy is your name. Let your government come, your kingdom, let your will be done. Lead us not into the temptation. It doesn't actually say that. It doesn't say God's not the one leading us. Help us to not be tempted. And what is the temptation? To be unforgiving, to bear grudges. So I want to talk today a little bit about spiritual trash and this scripture that came to me about that specifically, because that is the wiles of the devil to make us offended, right? Because it's all downhill from there when we don't handle offense as well. And, and it says, this is actually a scripture, it's in Luke 17, when it says offenses will come. The Amplified Version says it like this, stumbling blocks, temptations and traps to lure one to sin, to be offended, right, with people, are sure to come, but woe to who it's coming from. Woe to them. To, and so Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You know, out, out of the heart are the issues of life. So if we let, offenses are kind of like moldy bread. And if we let offenses lay around, they'll eventually come out of our heart. They'll come out of our mouth, out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks out of the heart are the issues of life. So that's what we need to try to care about is what, how are we doing when it comes to the issues of life that are in our heart? Because again, Christ is being formed in us, pure in heart, merciful, kind, tender hearted, forgiving, you know, blessed are the humble, you know, blessed are the merciful, they shall obtain mercy. So, um, I thought of that scripture you know, again, it's so deep. Woe to, offenses are going to come. Woe to him, though, who harbors those offenses and nurtures them and waters them and gardens them and tends to those offenses and then lets them out of their mouth because they're not doing what's right with offenses. That's the spiritual trash. And so if we're going to keep our heart free of offense, how do we do that if we don't even tell ourselves the truth about the fact that we really are offended? So Jesus wants to help us to be forgiving, right? Because unforgiven, unforgiveness is cancer to our soul. Grudges and offenses are cancer to our spiritual health. And really none of us can escape being responsible for the meditation of our heart, for the words of our mouth, for everything in life, you know, People can say that they're avoiding responsibility, and they are, but they're reaping the consequences of it still. There really is no running because fools pass on and are punished. It's all how we handle what we're responsible for that turns into a blessing or a curse for us. Sorry, this sun is in my eyes here, so. Um, having vision for Jesus the Father, the Holy Spirit, to help us with grudges and offenses, offenses is everything so we can honor God, please God in the spirit that we go in and out of people's hearts and lives with is really crucial. You have to have vision if you're a woman for actually being a woman of God. In Proverbs 1, it says, the heart of her husband does safely trust in her that has no need of spoil. So if, if God is our husband and maker, I want to make sure that his heart trusts in me, that I'm not gonna spoil relationships with other children, that I do my best to keep my heart void of offense, that I try to keep my heart clean, pure, that I take the log out of my eye so I can see clearly the twig. We've had just great talks about that because Again, Isaiah 51, put away the pointing of the finger. God doesn't want us to point the finger of scorn at each other. Like we don't want our children just to point the finger. You're right, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you're right. We don't want them to do that. We want them to see dimensionally how to help each other because they've taken the log out of their own eye. Name that spirit. We can only, again, see spiritually. The pure in heart shall see. So what I realized in my own walk is when I'm care more about loving people than being right or being offended that and I really want to do what's right that the Lord will open my eyes to actually understand my own soul a little better 
so I can try to overcome Satan and somebody else's life with how I got forgiven, my testimony, because I don't love pride. I don't, because what is offenses? Man, I'm glad I'm not like you. Man, you're really bad off and I'm not. I mean, there was a certain man who thought he was altogether righteous and everybody was wicked. Again, this is the cancer of soul. This is the spiritual trash. So I thought I'd just share that today because offenses are gonna come. They're gonna come every day, be assured of it, probably till the day you die. You'll be tempted to get offended. <laughs> That's the temptation to be unforgiving, right? So we can dig a little deeper and understand our own soul and wash each other's feet instead of stabbing each other's feet. <laughs> because to ignore offenses is a tragedy and a travesty because we end up doing what's wrong with God's children. Our Father who art in heaven, we won't do what's right. And so a woman that doesn't understand these things is not gonna teach these things to her children. And tragically, most of us came from those women's homes. But now that we're responsible for our own lives, it's important now for us to learn these deep spiritual truths because God will honor you when you honor him by how you care about going in and out of the hearts of his people. It's everything. Amen.